I am somebody. I was somebody when I came. I'll be a better somebody when I leave. I am powerful and I am strong. I deserve the education I get here. I have things to do, people to impress. And places to go. I am a one of Thunderbird. So look out world here I come. Because one day will be my day. I am somebody. From Achieve 3000, how did you become a national champion? Um, by working hard, and doing it, at, doing Achieve 3000 at home. Okay, how many points do you have? 14,060 and 63. Wow, and how many uh, articles have you read? At least 400 or 300. Have you improved your Lexile level? Mm, yes. And now you are one of the national champions. Can I see that? Mm. Wow, you're a national winner. Congratulations. Anything you want to tell the kids uh, about reading? Um, if you think you can, you can. Wow, a national winner. Look at the smile on your face. How does it feel to be part of a class that won the national award? Good. And how did you win this award? I won this award because Mr. Pritchard believed in me that I can do a tree 3000 and get a lot of points. Very good. And how many stories do you think you've read? How many articles? Mm, I'd say at least 100. Wow, very good. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow, another national champion. How does it feel to be a national winner? Good. Why? Because it makes me feel good because I can look, I can look up my own articles and I can read about it. Wow, and how many articles do you think you've read? About 300 or 200. Another national winner, my goodness. How does it feel to be a national winner? Good. You realize that that means you, 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 you read more articles and you've received more points than the whole school or the state of Delaware? Yes, I do. Wow, and can you tell us about one of the articles you read about? Um, one is about, it was about how people use machines but I think Weston already presented it so oh I see okay thank you very much well congratulations thank you another national champion very good how does it feel to be a national champion I feel excited yes and you did a lot of hard work in order to be a champion didn't you yeah now let me ask you something did you improve your reading yeah you did do you know how much Okay, well, you improved your reading tremendously. So what would you tell children um, that's watching this? What should they do? Keep trying, because every time when you work hard, you'll get a reward. Thank you very much. Another winner, another national winner. How does it feel to be a national winner? I feel proud of myself. Wow, and do you think your parents are gonna be proud? Yes. Yes, I think they will be too. You are a national winner. Did it take a lot of hard work? Yes. And how many articles do you think you've read? I don't know. Okay, so you, but you've read a lot? Yes. Now, what would you tell children at home for them to, uh, n for them to continue, re continue reading? To try their best. Very good, thank you. Wow, now you're not putting that on your clothes. You're saving that to put it someplace special? Where are you going to put it? You don't know yet, but you're thinking about it. Very good. So how does it feel, Miss Springer, to be a national winner? It feels very good. Very good. And did you read a lot in order to get there? Yes, you did read a lot. And what would you tell children at home watching this? I would tell them to keep on trying and never give up because you won't be successful. Very good. Thank you very much, Miss Springer. And congratulations! Look, you can smile. It's okay. Look at that smile. Thank you. Another now. Oh, where's your badge? Where's it? Where's your badge? Oh, I see it. There it is. Another national winner, boys and girls. This is another national. And what article do you remember that you like? When you read it, you liked that article. Basketball. Basketball. You like reading about basketball? What would you tell children about reading? What should they do in order for them to be a winner? Keep breathing, all right? And that's all you have to say about it? Congratulations. 
And here we have another national winner. Wow, you're a national winner. How does it feel to be a national winner? What do you think? You ever won anything before a national for the entire country? You did. What did you win? Well, when I was in third grade, I won the national spelling bee. Oh, when you I did. Was, when nope. I was in second grade, I won a national math competition. Wow. And now, what grade are you in? Fourth. And you run a national reading contest. Boy, you are. Wow. You're going to have a bright, bright, bright future. You just keep trying. Is there anything you would like to tell the children at home about winning these national contests? Strive to succeed. Strive to succeed. Very good. Thank you very much. And here we have another national winner, Mr. Teagle. What did you have to read? How many articles did you read to, to become a national champ? I don't know. You don't know? You just kept reading? So you came in and you started reading these articles every day. Was it hard? No. Why? But was it that, did you read anything you like to read about? Yes. Oh, you read a lot about. So do you think kids uh, should read what they like? Or yes. you think the teacher should assign them something to they read? They should read what they like. Why? Because some times when teachers assign the kids stuff, the kids might not like it, might not do their work. I see. Do you think you would have become a national champion if you were assigned the stories or if you became a champion because you picked them out? How, what happened? Both. Oh, I see. Okay, thank you very much. And what would you tell children watching? Never give up and try your best. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Teagle. Wow, another national champion. Let me ask you this. How many points do you have? 11,384. Whoa, 11,000 points. How many articles have you read? 300. Over 300 articles? Wow, you are... Have you changed your lexile levels? Has it changed? Yes. Wow. Very good, and now you're a national winner. How, what, 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 what do you have to say to the children watching this about reading? Stop you, getting in trouble and do your work. I see, stop getting in trouble and do your work. Very good, and you are a national winner. Congratulations. Another national winner. What did it take for you to become a national winner? Um, doing my work and focusing. Focusing? Oh, I see. And then you focused on what? Your articles and what else? My articles and my work and the things I was supposed to do and not the wrong things. I see. So that's what you would tell children at home or do you have anything else to add to that? Um, just follow directions and do what you're supposed to because it gets easier. Very good, I like that, and congratulations. Thank you. Another national winner. Man, we have so many national winners. Did you think you were gonna become a national winner? No. No? Well, now that you are, how do you feel? I feel great about it. Well, well how did you become a national winner? I became a national winner because I kept doing my work, I read the articles, and I answered the questions like, very good. Like oh, this one right now, I'm doing um, the newer. It's about how planes are getting, are doing better, are being made by batteries, and how they are um, working. That's what you're reading now. Let me take a look at this. Oh, I see. Planes are being tested and running on batteries. Wow, that's very interesting. And how many articles do you think you've read? Wow, very good. What would you tell children about reading that you don't think they know? I would tell them, if you, if you keep on trying, no matter what happens, just keep trying, and, you'll, and you, one day you might be like me. Holy cow, very good. You might be a national champion too. Where's your little badge at? Uh-oh, uh there it is. You'll be a national champion just like him. Very good. Thank you very much, sir. Another national champion. How did you become a national champion, sir? Hard work. And what do you have to do? Read articles, answer and write, and just keep repeating. Now, did you ever get to a point where you're like, I'm tired of doing this? Yes, but I kept trying, and now I got high school. 
But what, what happens when, when a person feels like I'm tired, I'm sick of doing this? What should they say to themselves? Keep trying and I know I see and get over with. They know you what? I know, keep trying, you will succeed. Oh, if you keep trying, you know you will succeed. That's all you have to do. And so when you're talking to yourself and, you, and, and in your mind you think, I would rather play Xbox, what should you do? Don't. Don't what? Don't, don't play it and you get your work done. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay, thank you. And then if they get their work, then they could possibly win something and become a good reader and a national champion like you? Yes. A national winner. Thank you very much, sir. And we have another national winner here. And what do you think uh, you had to do to become a national winner? Well, I had to try and succeed. And if I couldn't do it that much, I would still try. And I'll do the best I could. And you did the best you could and became a champion. But was it hard work? Did you ever reach a point where you're like, man, I feel like quitting? Yes. And what did you do when you think like that? I kept trying. But you're thinking, I gotta quit. I wanna quit. I wanna get stopped. And you just keep trying? Yes. Was it hard? Huh? Was it hard? Yes. Oh, wow. So did you, was it painful for you? Yes. And you kept going. Well, I'm very proud of you because you have made it. And that's what everybody should do. What can you tell the kids watching that they should do to become a good reader? If you, if you want to try something and want to succeed in it, try it. Just read on. Read on, I like that. Thank you very much, sir. All right, welcome. Look what you have on there. A national winner, another national winner. So what did you have to do to become a national winner, sir? Keep reading and doing activities. And was that hard? Some of them. Why? Because like you had to think of the questions and if they were right or not. Mm -hmm. they're, because if you thought there were other questions, I were right too. Oh, I see, I see. So it was very challenging, huh? Okay, well, uh, you've done uh, what it takes to become a national winner, and I am very proud of you. Thank you very much. Hey, what could you tell the kids at home about reading? Reading will help you get better in life. Thank you much. Well, here we have another national winner, and what? Wait, you just have you just received an award. Holy cow, this says you just earned 10 points for scoring 75% on an activity. You're still working. You're still working. Are you working hard on this? Yes. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to keep trying over and over again until I can finally get up to the thousands or the ten thousands of my points. Oh, you, <laughs> wow. You definitely have a goal. And you are a national champion. I'm very proud of you. What would you tell children at home about reading? Keep reading and try your best and soon later you will succeed in life. Thank you very much, sir. Well, you have it, ladies and gentlemen. These are the winners, the national winners for the Achieve 3000 here in Mr. Pritchett's RTI class. things to do with people to impress. And places to go. I am a one of Thunderbirds. So look out world here I come. Because one day will be my day. I am somebody.